Welcome back to me trying to save the puck for about 20 minutes or so, usually. Uh, yeah, we got a division rival here. A province rival. The Battle of Alberta. It's the Oilers against the Calgary Flames. They've put us in net. Calgary is doing very well. They are one spot up on us. This is going to be an intense matchup. We are currently 71 overall with an 886. Killing it. And a record of 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. So yeah, uh, let's request a tr No, I'm just kidding, obviously. Let's do it. Um, yeah, this is going to be hopefully a close game. Hopefully we don't get destroyed. And this is what our current lineup looks like. McDavid with Pujarvi and Kane. Then we've got um, Nuge with Dreisaitl and Hyman. Yamamoto with Ryan and Benson. And Pirlini with Sevior and Cassian. Defense, we got Darney and Barry. We've got Bouchard with Keith and Clefbaum with CC. All right. So, um, just check the goalies, obviously. Smith is doing better than us. And we're in net tonight. <laughs> Let's do it, boys. Here we go. Sim game. Come on. Give me a good one. First period. That's okay. That's all right. That's still okay. I'll take that. They only have 14 shots, though, which is sort of not ideal. Definitely. Do they have, like, a cool... Ooh, I forgot about those. Reverse retro. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we are wearing that. What about your reverse retro? Oh, yeah, come on. Give me a break. Blasty, that is his name, right? Pretty sure that's his name. Yeah, it's pretty much already confirmed that that save percentage task is just not going to happen. Like, no, it's <laughs> out of the question. We tried. Definitely put our best effort forth. But no, sir, we will not be seeing a happy coach. I like these jerseys, actually. These are cool. All right, let's go, McDavid. He's in over the line. Nice pass in the middle. You had a clear shot. Should have taken that. My humble, honest opinion and just my two cents. Toffoli spins back around and he's carrying it behind their net. A risky pass in front of Tanev. Glad to know our team is not the only one that does that. That's huge. Big information. Inside information. All right, McDavid with it again. He's in. Spins back to Nurse. Who goes for a cross-ice pass. And Toffoli was almost sprung on a breakaway. But a great back check from Nurse. I mean, after giving the puck away. But still got back. Got to give him credit where it's due. And he broke that up. McDavid's still on the ice here. Going on a three and a half minute shift. Oh, yeah, let's go. Game is tied. The initial shot went off the defender. It was bouncing around. And Pliarvi picks it up. Buries it. We have ourselves a tie game in the third period here. Beautiful. That is a good start. Let's see how this actually went down. So yeah, off the shin pad. Pajarvi just picks it up. Markstrom couldn't get over on time. Big goal. Also, I'm sure you guys know by now, especially if you've watched any of my other BIA pros, but I record these way in advance in bulk so that I can get them out to you guys. Otherwise, it just wouldn't happen. So uh, the whole thing, I remember in the first episode, there was a comment about the broadcast settings, audio visual, and then like game presentation, cutscene thing. Um, I already had it on condensed, apparently, and yeah, I still feel like we're getting long and unnecessary cutscenes, so I suppose it probably does help compared to full. I don't even want to see what full is like, but yeah, it's still sort of annoying, but it's not the end of the world, you know, it's not the worst thing. It could be certainly more of an annoyance than it currently is. Hannafin goes across to Tanev, who rips one. That will be saved. I don't like those point shots. When I was um, in my last Be A Pro, I hated when they were behind the net because stuff like that happens. I actually managed to save that one. But in this one, it seems to be the point shots that are my current kryptonite or biggest fear anyway. I haven't even really got scored on from a point shot. So it's not really my kryptonite. It's more I'm just scared of them because they are very quick. These guys are good at ripping shots. And they're taking a penalty. That's huge. Get off the ice quick here. Hopefully we get the overhead view. And we will. So let's switch to that. Nice try on the short side there. Benson wins the battle in front. Leon rips one. And that will be stopped. Oh, trying to get fancy with it. All right. Power play time. That also means free team play time. Assuming I don't mess up. I also just realized I forgot to turn one of my lights on. So the green screen in like this section right here might be kind of dodgy at the start. But uh, yeah. Whoops. My bad. Sorry. I have like three lights here to make this thing work properly. I, I guess 
You gotta do what you gotta do. If I got another one of these studio lights, it would probably be alright, but... Yeah, I just haven't done that yet. That's free team play. If I've ever seen it, pick that up. And around the boards, you're open there. Pujarvi. The man of the hour scored to tie this thing up. Is gonna get nudged off the puck there by Hannafin. Who sends it across to Coleman. Is he gonna dump it in or is he gonna carry it? Looks like he's gonna carry it. In fact, they might even get a shot off here. Backlund goes for a pass. And now Coleman back to Hannafin. Who will put it deep in our zone. Oh, who lost their helmet? That is a helmet, right? Maybe not. Unless they already skated off. But it looks like it's the same people out there. Off the post! Pujarvi almost got us the lead after tying it up. That would have been unreal. Good job, Barry. Gets it to Ryan. Oh! Let's go! What an awful goal. I'll take it, though. Off the back of Jacoby Markstrom. And we have ourselves a one-goal lead now. A huge power play effort there from the Oilers. Nice. We came into this down by one. And right now, we are up by one. Yep. He went to pass in front to Pujarvi, too. And it just never made it. Never found its way. There's still 10 minutes to go, though. And Goudreau does have that X-Factor shot that is very scary. Don't want him to get as many shots as some of the other guys on this team, hopefully. That would be ideal. And if we could just prevent them from shooting altogether, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna vote against that either. Bouchard skates it across the net in a very risky fashion, but he's somewhat... Oh, that's a penalty, referee. Let's go. That's a... I wouldn't call it a charge, but okay. Whatever floats your goat. That is... a questionable call. Maybe should have been... It looked like a knee on knee to me. But, regardless, we're on the power play. Let's do this thing. Oh, a giveaway. Zach Hyman, second power play goal. He almost had it. That was a close one. Oh, we're playing Kane on the point on the power play. Interesting. Also, what is that power play line? Ryan, Pliarvi, and Hyman. They scored the first time, and they almost just scored again. So, clearly the coach knows what he's doing. In come the Flames. In the middle to Lewis. That will be gloved. Pass that to Barry. Who... Makes the headway pass up to Hyman now. And we're back in on the attack on the power play here. Oh, if he got that pass through, that would have been filthy. Here comes Dubé. He's going to get rocked. But Lewis picks it up. He's in. Takes a short side shot that will be blockered away. Back to the point it goes. In the middle to Dubé. Back to Lewis. Another save. All right. So they've actually put up a decent amount of pressure considering they're on the PK. Good try. Is that it for this? Uh, 10 seconds left, pretty much. Yeah, that'll do it. Right there. Lewis will dump it in. I'll get to that. Pass it back over to you. Good job. All right, I like that. That kind of works. The other guys, for some reason, it seems to be. Anyway, they assume I'm going the other way. And then I just bring it right back. And yeah, that's working out. Hopefully, it gets me team play. I mean, it's still a connected pass. It might not be direct or anything, but still making it there. Okay, what's going on? I don't like this. The puck could be anywhere. It could come flying at me at any second. Get it out. Ryan, what are you doing? Barry. Oh, that was a risky pass. More free team play. Yeah, pass that over to you. You should be able to get there first. Hyman goes for a risky pass in front of the net now. This team loves doing that. One of their favorite pastimes. Then home across to Villamaki who gets it to Matty Kachuk. Oh, no. We're taking a penalty now. That's not good. 441 left. We are going to be down a man for the next two, assuming we can kill it off here. And yeah, we only have the one goal lead, so a goal here could possibly mean overtime. Here's Coleman. Nice step up. Clefbaum going to send it right back where it came from. That is 30 seconds already done here. Mangiapane is going to keep it and pass it up to Backland. He's in over the line. Goes for a pass in the middle. CC. Is going to be there. Oh, and he is going to rock 2-0 in the face with the biscuit. That looked intentional. A little bit, you know? He kind of looked up, saw him there, and was like, all right, I'm going to rip this one. Nice defensive play again. Clefbaum. Oh, no! Clefbaum, what are you doing? Okay, that's a save. Nuge picks it up and sends it down the ice. Ooh, all right. 20 seconds to go. We are just about done killing this thing off. Looks like they'll get one more chance here. Backland. Nice breakup, CC. That was huge. What a kill. What an absolute textbook penalty kill from the Edmonton Oilers. We got two minutes to go. 
Here comes Calgary. Monaghan in the middle. Ah, no! I made the initial stop, and then the rebound came right to Coleman. Ah, you hate to see it. Oh, I don't like this. They seem to have momentum now. They are just flying out here. Pool. that was a scary shot. Play RV picks it up, and we are down to the final minute here. Come on, boys. Let's get one. I don't want to go to OT. And stop playing with the puck in front of the net. You're scaring me. Let's go Jesse. Or is it Yessi? I forgot about that. Dry sidle tries to take a shot and won't be able to get it off. Oh, man. Calgary just got the puck out. Okay. I'm kind of happy that went offside. Slows down the momentum and the pace a little bit. Let's just, you know, cool it down for a second. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Whoa. <laughs> that was scary. My goalie didn't even react. He just basically let it happen. He's like, yep, I accept this. I accept everything that's about to happen. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Oh, that just missed the net. Okay, guys, this is not funny anymore. Please get the puck out. All right, we're at least getting a point out of this game. At least we're getting one. I'll take one over none. Our save percentage is probably not going to be very good again, especially if we lose. Yeah, if we let in another goal, it's uh, not going to be pretty. So I, I guess... Sort of prefer it go to a shootout in that case. Unless they absolutely pepper me with shots. But I don't really foresee me getting 13 shots in this overtime period. Tanev. Oh, that's going to be blockered away. In the middle to Goudreau who rips on. That will be saved as well. And he came in trying to steal it off of Dreisaitl. But he managed to get it up to McDavid who's going to lose it trying to be fancy. What's going on McDubstep? Or should I say McDusty? Alright, Goudreau with it. Is he going to pass it or is he going to shoot it? He's going to shoot it. Ah, no. I'll, I'll smother it. He came in. Yo, he wanted to get there so bad. Nothing was stopping that man from getting right in front of my face. Nice. No. He just missed the net. That was so close. Oh, man. We're entering the two-minute warning here in a second. Tanev now with it. He's on the wing. That will be saved by TJ. Now back to Tanev it goes. And back to Tanev again. Another save. And thank you, Dreisaitl, for breaking that up. That was huge. If they got the rebound there, that was pretty much a goal, I believe. Come on, break away for Dreisaitl. Skate! Skate! Hustle! Yep! Yes, let's go! Let's go! I didn't think it was actually going to go in, but it did. You beauty. Let's check out the... Oh, man. No, wait. No, they did have 30 shots. Nice. Nice. That's a 900 save percentage if I've ever seen one. We're not going to be one of the stars, but... I will take that game. Yes, sir. Love that. Amazing performance, Oilers. All right, let's see what James has to say. Mr. Chabolski, what's up? You tell me what. It was outrageous, right? Those two teams hate each other, and he was a difference maker. And you got to love you. that if you're the coaching staff to know you can He's going to be pissed, watch. Type of game at that type of effort in a moment like that from a youngster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that builds so much trust and confidence in your coaching. At least staff. he said I was solid out there tonight. The a ton of confidence as well. All right, another area. If you look at some of the numbers in this one, there should be a way to limit these two. Oh. About this OT game. Uh, let's go to the beast who's on the line. How did you view this? Oh, he just got completely cut off. I didn't even do that this this time. James got cut off by the game. On the couch and watching hockey, tons of um, I, what do you mean? I've been playing all right. The Blue Jackets were in a dog fight on the road. Get out of here, dude. Maintain Chicago a team play of B plus. Oh. In a game that had That's easy peasy. Just take some penalties and we're mint. The yeah, even on the TJ's little piss. San Jose triumphs. I can't even skip the segment. Up. Oh, now I can. See you, James. So let's sim up to when we play next. We are now 19, 8, and 6. We are. In seventh, 19, 9, and 6. We got New Jersey here. Sim game. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. That's two games in a row that we lost. All right, there we go. We got our 20th win. That is huge. How will things go against the Rangers? 20, 10, and 6. There we go. That's another win. Toronto Maple Leafs. They are doing well. Fifth in the league. One spot above us. And we take an L. Mike Smith playing a lot of games here. All right, we're in Let's against the one. Islanders, who are... 13, 17, and 6. They're 28th in the league, so this should be... Yeah, we should be able to get this done. Okay, here we go. Sim game. Yes, sir. Come on, boys. First period. Nice. Second. 
I'm just gonna sim this game. Okay, amazing. Love that for my save percentage. That is incredible. Sorokin did amazing. Congrats, I'm very happy for you. That game was just not worth jumping into. We still have an 890 somehow. How is that even possible <laughs> after that? Okay, sim to next game. And we're in against the wild again. Hopefully this one a little bit better than the last one. Come on, boys. First period. Yes. What is with these second periods? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing another six goal game. Amazing. Here's your three stars. Holy crap, dude. Simulation was doing all right before, but the last two games, it just killed me. We're down to an 885 now. Good luck getting that up to a 900 by the end of the year. Sim to next game. The Jets. Sim game. Okay. Sim to next game again. And we're in against Chicago, who is 21st in the league. Please, give me something that is worth jumping into here. Boom. Okay. And... This one's also not worth jumping into. It's not even close. I'm just going to... Yeah, there we go. Solid performance from TJ. Three stars. There you go. McDavid caught a hat trick. a boy McDusty. Let's keep it going here. Hopefully we can get a close game soon. Because, you know, 7-1 heading into the third. What's the point? Might as well just sim it. I'm just going to give you the team answer. And end that conversation. No promises from me, sir. And I'm not spending no $5... On museum tickets or whatever you want. The first placed Panthers. Can we take home a dub? Yes, we can. We actually won. Another division rival game here. How will Mike Smith hold up in this one? That is... I don't know how many losses we had before, but I think that was a regulation loss. Sim game. All right. 25, 16, and 6. Sim game against the Predators. 26, 16, and 6. And we have a conversation... Oh, this is going to be about the team play thing, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, definitely didn't maintain that. And... Oh, it wasn't that. Okay. I'm doing every... Yeah, give me a break, dude. Promise. Okay, what do I need to do? Um, Counting on you to put it together. What what promise did I just make? I mean, to... <laughs> this game is a joke, man. Like, come on. The best save percentage in the NHL right now is... Shister or no. Yeah, Shesterkin. With... Uh, 938. And then Freddie Anderson with a 929. Uh, Vili Huso. Interesting. With a 928. Markstrom, 928. Uh, Jeremy Swayman, 926. Sorokin, 925. Saros, 923. And they expect me, a 17-year-old, to get a 940. What a piece of crap. <laughs> Montreal's in first. 33-18-0. and 0. They have not lost in overtime. I think we took an L there. I'm not even really paying attention to our record. I'm kind of just going at this point. Next game, even if it's not really close, I'm just going to jump into it anyway. Because we are sailing here. Sim game. And sim game. Or sim up to game. They're going to put us in against Tampa, aren't they? My kryptonite. At least, well, that was Tino Manny's kryptonite. Maybe not TJ's, though. Uh, stick work, maybe. Ooh, rebound control is pretty huge. Yeah, I'm going to get rebound control up. That is an important one. Especially when the defense decide they're not going to help you out. This is a big sim break here. Okay, sim game against Tampa. And now we're going to be going up against Florida. Sim that one as well. And we're in against Carolina. 25, 24, and 1. Please be a good one. I want to jump in here. Okay. Okay, thank you. They gave me exactly what I asked for. So the team play thing is still there. The 940 save percentage thing that is never going to happen is still there. And I just want to play hockey. I don't even really care about these coaches challenges. Not at all. I just want to go in here, stop some pucks. And honestly, I feel like I am as a whole playing way better than I did. Oh, they have an injury. I was going to say, what the heck's going on? Um, yeah, I feel like I'm playing way better as a whole than I was as Tino Manny, so that's good. You know, the fresh start really helped us out here. Tara Vining just got dropped like a two-foot putt, and that will send him off the ice. Hopefully, he's all right. Okay, well, that's a hot start to the third period. As you can see in the bottom left corner, I've actually changed my name to Jordan Stull. Oh, another big hit. Sveshnikov is going to get dropped as well. Kane is just letting them know right now. Holy Darnell, he's in. Nice deke. Oh, great pass attempt, but didn't quite work out. Here comes Vinny. 
Trocek is in over the blue line. Backskates a little bit, and he's going to get rocked. Holy dude. I am loving this. The physicality right now from the Oilers is unmatched. I'll do it again. I thought McDavid was about to drop Slavin. That would have just been out of control. All right, Fast is going to get pinned against the boards. Great back check from McDavid to get the puck there. And we're getting pucks deep following the standard hockey protocol <laughs> strategy. Here comes Carolina. A shot. That'll be saved. You're open there, so I'll give that to you, Barry. He's going to skate up with it. In over the red line, and he carries it right into the zone. Holy, this guy's going end-to-end. -end. He actually almost did. That was a good shot. But an equally good save. And here comes me, Jordan Stull. That's me right there. In the middle to fast. That will be stopped on the rebound. I think the defense helped me out there. Or he just kind of missed it. But either way, we are safe for the time being. Cock and Yemi down low to Stull. Point shot from Slavin just misses the net. And now we have a battle at the point. Hyman will receive the puck, and he's in over the blue line. Takes a shot, and it is a snipe, ladies and gentlemen. Just over five minutes into this third period, Edmonton Oilers take the lead. It is 3-2. Look at this. Hyman does a little deke and just sends it home. What a beautiful shot. I feel like Hyman's been on fire. That guy has been lighting it up. That was a close call right there. Warren with it. Ooh. I feel like he sensed he was about to get hit hard, so he just sort of went real snug against the boards and hoped for the best. Okay. Face off outside of our zone here. We are still up by one. I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot of time that's passed since our goal. So, um, yeah, we are now up by one. Yamamoto going to get the puck in deep, and Pesci will be there to pick it up. All right, Carolina, here they come again. Ooh, he went to dump it in. No way, that kind of worked out for him. In the middle, what a stop. I'm going to pass that over, screw it. Bouchard, good play. So happy that that worked out. <laughs> I really didn't want to pass it, but I just did. Trocek's going to put one in. I'll come out for that. Pass that along the boards to you, Kane. Good pickup from him and a solid play to bring across ice. Another great pass up the ice to McDavid. Let's do it, McDubstep. Oh, what a shot. Freddie Anderson going to save that with his toe. And he's going to keep it a one-goal game here. 10-34 remains. Win that draw. Let's get a point shot here. Let's do what is terrifying to me to them. See if their goalie can handle it. Oh, that's a headshot on our superstar. Well, one of our superstars. You also got TJ, and I get oh, Drysidle, Darnell Nurse. But anyway, that was a huge hit, and no one stood up. That's not good. That is not good. And we're also taking a penalty, I believe. Yeah. All right, so we're about to be shorthanded. Stall is in. Goes for the shot, but Yandel... Yandel? Has he been there the whole time? And I just haven't really noticed him? Or is he new? Eh, anyway... They have a power play here. Let's try to kill it off. Sevier with a huge draw win. And comes in to help. Oh! Ah! I don't like the way that worked out at all. I tried to smother it, and then that's when I kind of kicked it out. Okay. Well, it ended up working in my favor. That's a glove save if I've ever seen one. Right in the oven mitt. He tried to pick me short side. Not today. All right, another face-off in the Oilers' zone here. 100% penalty kill. That's pretty good. Not bad. See how this draw goes. Will Sevier win another one? No, he will not. Carolina takes this one home. And, oh, great play. Barry breaking it up right in front of the net. And then he hits Harkai trying to get the puck out. Amazing. He does end up getting it out, though. Ryan will put the puck in deep. There's already only 40 seconds left. And they haven't really even had a single chance yet, I don't think. Or maybe one. He just dangled himself. Amazing. This is going swimmingly right now. In fact, too well. I feel like something bad is going to happen. Nice! Sevier! Oh, he's not fast enough. He can't do it. But that will do it for the penalty, at least. Sebastian in over the line. And he has his pocket picked. Poyarvi battling with it now. And Ryan there is... His support. 
McDavid takes a slap shot. What a legend. All right. Will we see another chance here? Man, our defense have been doing real well recently at not letting them get super close to the net. Sveshnikov is able to walk. As I say that, this man just walks right out like it's nobody's business. And he's going to shove it. Short side. That will tie this game up with 430 to go. Well, that's unfortunate. Didn't see that coming. They're back at it. Trocek has a battle down low, and it finds its way to Pesci, who's going to get rocked by McDavid, and then another big hit. I'm pretty sure this guy in the corner over here is injured. Is he not? Oh, yeah, he's slow to get up. Okay, well, we are definitely beating the Carolina Hurricanes in the physicality aspect of the game. Only a minute 30 left in this matchup. Tie game at the moment. Really, any team's game. Both squads are getting about the same amount of chances. Both goalies playing about the same. So, yeah, this really could tilt either way. Fast is in. Passes. Oh, nice. I'm very happy he lifted his skate and let that go through. Hyman with it. Is that the hash marks? Passes back to Bouchard, who couldn't really do a whole lot with that pass. So, that was not the greatest play in the world. But... A play that was made nonetheless. Carolina's in. Kakanyemi. Whoa, again. They are getting real close to getting a scoring chance here. But they just keep making bad passes, honestly, and giving the puck away. Kane has it in the neutral zone. This might be the last attack here. Nice pass to Nurse, who goes to take a shot, and it's blocked. Pull Yarvi to Dreisaitl. And... Oh, actually, I might get a shot here. Never mind. We took it back again. Let's go, Leon. Finish off the game strong. Ah, uh, it's overtime again. I think this is another situation of... Oh, no. Yeah, D'Angelo. And... I'll see you later. Get out of here. And then our team almost puts it in the net on me. But the flying poke check. Once again, coming in clutch. I think it's going to be, like I said, another situation where we have to get a pretty good amount of shots in the... Overtime period here, or we have to win for me to sort of have a salvageable save percentage. So either one of those outcomes is ideal. You're open over there, so I'll give that to Leon. And he's just going to skate with it. He's got two guys on him. Instead of passing it, he decides to just let himself get pinned against the boards. And Svechnikov now going to be with it. Dryside will go? Oh, could have had it. He could have had it. Go help him, McDusty. How does Sveshnikov come out with that? Alright, well, they won that battle. And now they are blazing down the ice here. Sveshnikov cuts in the middle again. Another save. Rebound stop as well. Holy crap, he is good at getting to the middle. Leon, you got a two on one. Oh, never mind. Oh, come on, the rebound. No, he just missed picking it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sebastian, this guy right here. He actually tried it. No, you know what? I respect it, actually. That would have been insane if he scored that. And it made it easier for me to stop, so... <laughs> Thanks. Nuge. He's in! Yeah, what a shot! What an absolute laser! He picked that corner, and that will be another overtime victory for the Edmonton Oilers. How many shots did they end up with? They had... Oh, they only had 28. Come on, now. I thought they had more than that. Oh, well. Still a good performance. Uh, team play... Where's team play? Oh, there it is. We got a B plus. 70%? No, wait. We just met the target, basically. So, we got maybe like a 75 or something like that. Very nice. All right. Let's finish that game. And let's see what James has to say. I'm probably just going to sim up to our next game in the next video. I'll just leave that. Let's go, Ray. Razor, what does that do? Never mind so much the confidence for the goalie, but for the rest of the team around him. That team well, play. Oh, I got 79%. Um, I, you start to build a little bit of a belief system. Uh, Just a little bit of one. So as, as a goalie in particular, you're, you're trying to get to a place where you feel comfortable... The team feels comfortable this guy's so sick. He's had kind of an up and, down and then it's just an absolute cliff. 20 more points. It, you know, it's a hard lead to take a jump to. But if he can maybe springboard off this overtime win a little bit, they might have something All right. here. All right. What's already been a good season for them. They might have a little more. Smithy? Oh, he's not doing too well either. Okay, we're going to pay a few bills here, but we're back with more with Ray in a moment. Okay. 
Yeah, that's the stats so far. It's looking pretty good, actually. Nope, don't think so, James. I've heard enough of you. Um, we're ninth in the league. I would say sixth, but I read that wrong. And 29 wins on the year. Pretty good so far. We have an 890, 315. We're kind of bringing it down a little bit, slowly but surely. And we got the Philadelphia Flyers up next. We won't be playing against them, but or will we? Let's see. I'll sim up to the game, but I won't actually be partaking in it, most likely. What's up? Yes! Amazing. I guess I got the team play one. I'm definitely not getting the 940 one. Not even close. I like those pads. I think they fit. All right. Well, that was a good one. I think we, we played solid there. Did I only let in one goal the whole time? I think I might have. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.